the problem with the media is that um, it's essentially become a business and everything's got to be more sensationalized. Saying the climate changes all the time. Tim Ball has a variety of titles. 28 years professor of climatology at the University of Winnipeg. 32 years as professor of climatology at the University of Winnipeg. A former climatology professor. Professor Tim Ball of the Department of Climatology at the University of Winnipeg. Okay, here's where you slipped up, Tim. There is no climatology department at the University of Winnipeg. Sorry, that was fairly easy to verify. Not 28 or 32. Of course, he's belittling geography. No, the problem isn't that anyone's belittling geography. The problem is that you're inflating eight years of geography, a perfectly respectable subject, into 32 years of climatology, which is something completely different. And you got caught out. Ball's only academic contribution to climate science was a handful of papers, mostly on the historical weather records of the Hudson's Bay Company in central Canada, and mostly published in the 1980s. None of that research addressed or even tried to challenge the accepted link between CO2 and global warming. If Ball hadn't been so heavily promoted on television, most climate scientists would never have heard of this obscure geography professor. If all this sounds a bit negative and dismissive, it's because people with few qualifications and little research history would never be promoted as experts in any other scientific field.